everyone welcome once again to Dada's food crave kitchen if this is your first time tuning into my channel I want to welcome you and I thank you for stopping by in today's video I am going to be making Gambian wache this Gambian wache in Gambia we call it Nyebe Res and Pamai so if you guys are interested in seeing how we make our own wache Gambian style Nyebe Res and Pamai please stay tuned and without any further ado Let's get cooking! Alright everyone, let's get started. What you need for your Gambian wache, your Nyebe Res and Pamai. You need some black eyed peas. You want to make sure you soak your black eyed peas overnight. If you don't have enough time to soak your black eyed peas overnight, make sure you soak it at least one hour to two hour before cooking them so i'm using two and a half cup of black eyed peas that green cup right there is two cups it looks like one cup but it's a two cup and that's half cup so a total of two and a half cups of black eyed peas So you're basically just going to add some water into the bowl and let it soak, like I said, for an hour or two hours or overnight, the better. The reason why you want to soak your beans overnight or at least two hours before cooking it, it will help the beans to cook really faster and it also will swell up and it won't take that long to cook. So that is a simple black eye piece. If you're not making a lot of um, wache or nyebere senpamai, you can feel free to use one cup of black eye peas. I'm making a lot because I don't cook every day. So that's your black eye peas there. So what you need here for your Nyebe Res and Pamai, these are the ingredients. I have my Spanish eggplant. I'm only using two. That's the light purple eggplant. And I'm also using the regular darker purple um, eggplant. I also have some pumpkin here. I peel out all the skin. Also have some fresh okra. And I have two medium shallots. If you don't have shallots, which are those little red onions there, you can use a regular onion. It don't matter. I'm using those shallots and two red small onions. And I also have my scallions, green onions. And I have half of a red bell pepper. I have two fresh large tomato, one large onion, white onion. And I also have three habanero pepper this was after my beans were soaked for two hours you see the texture have changed it's swollen up a little bit you're gonna need some maggi cubes or whichever um, seasoned cubes you got that's fine you're also going to need some salt and make sure you add all this salt to your own taste I have my fresh fish croaker it was washed really nice with some lime salt and water to take some of the smelly fish out of the you know fish and then I have two cups of palm oil and there we go my homemade ginger garlic paste i have a video uploaded on that if you guys interested in seeing how i make my ginger garlic paste so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna cut my spanish eggplant in half and i'm not gonna use all of the eggplant i'm just using i just want four large cuts you can cut 
one eggplant in four you can cut them in two so what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna chop up my green onions my scallions and my onion white onion and my bell pepper my fresh tomato so that my blending will go smoothly so i'm using my my mutter i'm gonna cut up my scal um shallots onions my white onions my habanero pepper i'm gonna put some maggi cubes in there some salt and black pepper the reason why i'm doing this i don't want to start cooking my my wache rice or putting in my my fish and my vegetable in just plain salty water i want my fish to be seasoned and my vegetable to be seasoned I've seen people juice just use plain salt and water and then add their vegetable and their fish. That's not how you make nyebe res and pamai. If you really want your food to be flavorful, this is the route you want to go. You want to make sure your your water is really seasoned and flavorful and after blending my onions and shallot and pepper into the mutter, that's how it look like. Now the other badge of my blending, this is for my gravy sauce, my wache sauce, which is my nibiris and pamai. This is going to be the gravy. This is the wache Gambian style. This is how we cook our wache. Like I said, the Ghanaian call it wache, their wache. Um, when they cook their wache, they use the red it's like a leaf like this it's it, it will turn the rice and the beans really red nice red color but when we cook our wache we just use the natural color from the beans we do not use anything to make the rice um turn red or any any or any color we just use the natural color from the beans which is like one nice brown brown it makes the rice nice brown light color so I'm, as I'm adding all my ingredients into the blender, my scallions, tomato, habanero pepper, maggi cube, salt and black pepper, and my regular onion into the blender. I'm just going to blend that. And I'm not going to blend it into a smooth smoothie like. I'm going to use my pulse on the blender would will give it that little rough chop because you don't want a, you don't want to blend your onions and pepper um to that smoothie like texture because it will create its own its own juice and your sauce will take a very long time to cook and please do not add water when you're blending this um ingredients when you're blending your onions and your pepper do not add water into it if you add water you'll be cooking your gravy for a very very long time if you don't have a food processor which usually give it a really chuff, um, rough chop if you have a regular blender just hit the pulse button like just keep hitting the pulse button like pressing it and pressing it until we kind of give it that um, rough chop it will not turn all your onions and pepper into into water see like so it's still a little rough not all the way smooth that's how you want it you can see there's still some water in there despite i didn't add any water into blending my onions so what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna add like eight cups of water into my my pot my clean pot and this will get me ready to add the other half of the onions that i blended with my shallots and and stuff like i said people just will simply just use plain water and salt and then they just put their beans in there and then put their fish and the vegetable it wouldn't taste really good my opinion it wouldn't taste really good this is how we cook our and this is how you're supposed to really cook your nyebe res and pamai because then your beans will be flavorful your rice will be flavorful your fish will come out really tasty your vegetable will also come out really tasty instead of just adding plain water and salt into into your um into your pot by starting to cook your fish and your vegetable so i'm just gonna cover the pot a little and let the water boil come to a boil usually you don't have to do that you just wait you, you can put everything right away but i want my water to start boiling before i can add my vegetable and my fish 
so as you can see my water started boiling up so what i'm gonna do now i'm just gonna add my vegetables in the pot my seasoned um to the seasoned water i'm gonna add my eggplant my pumpkin my okra my habanero pepper and i'm also gonna add my fish and my salted fish which we call geja in banjul in gambia we call it geja it's a salted fish which i bought from my local grocery store international store that sells all type of food that's how it looks like you want to make sure you wash it really good i'm gonna add your fish as you can see the water is not just white plain water and salt it's a blended onions with maggi jimbo and everything in there so i'm gonna take my fish out because fish doesn't take long to cook that's the first thing you want to check and make sure you take that your fish out gently so it's just pretty much look like you're steaming your fish but you're steaming it into a really flavorful water you know not plain water and salt and use a spoon that has a hole in it so that you know it will drain some of the water out so you just want to take your fish out and at this point if your vegetable was already cooked to the texture that you want you could take that one out as well but it wasn't ready so i give it another five minutes and i came back and i took them out i took my vegetable out my eggplant carrot pumpkin and habanero pepper at this point you want to take everything out of the pot see even the water itself even the water itself looks so pretty already and my house was smelling like heaven it it, it smelled so good I, it, it you know you you will you will smell that real authentic um african african cuisine that african dish you know so there goes my fish all fish all nicely steamed or boiled with my salted fish now what you're gonna do is you're just gonna put the beans into your pot into your flavored blended onions and all that good stuff into the pot and let it boil and you don't want to cook your beans you don't want to really overcook your beans you want to cook it to a really nice check texture where it's not really really too soft you want to cook the beans to a texture where it, it incorporate well with the rice so while my beans is cooking i'm just gonna add to my two cups of um palm oil like i said if you guys are interested in purchasing palm oil you could check your local international stores they have them if you guys really want to buy the palm oil where i got mine from you could message um, direct message me on facebook or instagram i'll be more than happy to share the information so at this point you just want to put your palm oil into a nice hot pan and let the oil heat up really well it will show you an indication that the oil is ready because it will tend to um when the oil is really hot when it's ready it would tend to like um the you know the smoke will kind of come out from the oil like you will see was it will be a little smoky in your kitchen that's an indication that your palm oil is ready it's already heat up and you want to be very careful when putting your onions your blended onions into the hot palm oil you see the smoke so now i was in very gentle i just pour everything in the hot palm oil right away and i made a little bit of boo-boo there i made a little bit of spill as you can see in the corner there so I'm just going to wipe it off. Now I'm going to put my homemade ginger garlic paste into my gravy sauce. At this point, you don't want to add any water into this gravy. It doesn't require you to add any type of water because this is dry gravy. Dry gravy. I'm going to add my fresh bay leaves in there as well. If you need any more salt to taste, you can add that at, the, at this point. If you also need to add tomato paste, you can add like maybe one, one tablespoon of tomato paste or two tablespoons of tomato paste. 
I'm not adding any tomato paste into my um, gravy sauce because I already used two large fresh tomato because obviously tomato paste is made out of tomato anyway so I do not need to add any more tomato paste that's your preference you want to just keep stirring and stirring the gravy until all the water dried out as you can see my beans is all cooked really nice for one good at least 30 to 35 minutes and that's the texture I was looking for it's well done it's not too soft it's not hard it's cooked really well in that case when I put my rice in you know it won't break into the rice it will mix really well into the rice we incorporate really really well and that's the natural color from the beans that you see there that brown color we do not use that watch your leaf to make the beans red so you are gonna use right now I'm using four and a half cups of rice with two and a half cups of beans so you want to kind of like measure it that way maybe if you're using two cups of rice you want to use one one and a half cup of beans or if you're using four cups of rice maybe two cups of beans it depends how many people you're cooking for or how many days you're cooking for so as you can see the water is really nicely that's that's the nice brown natural color from the beans will give the rice a really light brown color I added a little bit more salt to taste like I said do your own seasoning to your own taste your own spice to your own taste and this was after a couple minutes I'm checking my gravy sauce there's no water added like I said if you want to add tomato paste you can not so much just like one or two you want to cook it until all that water dried out and this was after 10 minutes I'm checking my my Gambian wache rice and beans nyebe res that's how we call it the Creole people in Gambia Banju call it nyebe res you see that nice brown natural color from the beans and my gravy sauce is all nicely cooked and dried up really good there's no water left in there the onions ooze out its own sweetness and after 30 minutes or so I check my rice I turn it one more time and then you could give it another five minutes again and your rice will be ready your wache Gambian wache rice will be ready see the nice color that it gives it and voila after 10 minutes my rice is ready my my fish is all cooked tasting really good my vegetables is all cooked really nice my eggplant my pumpkin my carrot my gravy is cooked as well there's no water into it, it I fried it really dry really dry it was so tasty with all that ingredients I added in there the onions were so sweet I mean even if you fry in the onions you can add a little bit dash of sugar into it to make the onions taste really sweet we incorporate well with the spiciness and the salt and my wache rice and beans is ready guys this is the Gambian wache guys this is how we cook our wache yes we do not put the red leaf in there like I said if you guys are interested in Gambian people seeing interested in seeing how Ghanaians make their wache I'll be more than happy to show you I tried to get that leaf on Amazon but by the time I went there it was already sold out but you could definitely find that um, that leaf on Amazon but I'm trying so hard to find that leaf because that's the way you could completely cook Ghanaian wache but this is the Gambian wache like I said this is how we cook our wache which we call in Gambia the Creole people pretty much call it Nyebere Senpamai and as you can see I always try to come up with a great presentation for you guys I find the, f the, the nicest fish on the, on, the, on the badge right there fattest fish so that you guys can see you're gonna put your fish on the side this is pretty much how you we decorate the plate 
you put your fish on the side your vegetables on the side if you have that bitter tomato which we call jahato more power to you i cannot find jahato anywhere so the jahato means it, uh, we call jahato bitter tomato it's green like tomato but it's 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 like tomato the way how tomato is like red um it's green so we call it bitter tomato which is called jahato so you're gonna plate it up so like so and then you're gonna add your vegetables on the side your okra your eggplant you have an arrow pepper for the squeezing on the side and your salted fish which we call geja uh mixing that well with your with your fish and your vegetable while eating it it tastes so good my house was like heaven that authentic it looks so it tastes and look very authentic i'm telling you guys this dish is so delicious and i hope you guys will try this recipe for your family and your friends and if you are new to my channel and you like this video give it a thumbs up if you are new please subscribe to my channel and put your notification bell on because you will never miss out every time i upload a video you'll be the first to be notified that that does food crave just uploaded a delicious yummy meal and what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna put some of my of my uh, wache gambian wache gravy on the side and voila my nyebe rest and pamai is ready guys i hope you guys will try this recipe like i said for your family and friends and i hope you guys enjoy this video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you try it you have any question leave your comment down below if there's anything you guys want me to try let me know and voila there we go this is a typical authentic gambian wache this is how we cook our nyebe rice and pamai so i just wanted to show you guys how it's pretty much dished out just the same way you put your vegetables on the side if you're getting ready to eat and you just simply put your your wache sauce on top of the um the rice not a lot you don't want to put a lot of the sauce on the rice you just want to put a little bit because once you're eating it you just kind of mix it all up together and eat it it was so delicious guys and voila Anyebe rice and pamai is ready. Isn't that delicious, guys? Isn't that looks good? It looks so good. It looks so yummy. I have my salted fish on the side as well. Oh, I just wish you guys would try this recipe. Please try it and let me know what you guys think. It was my pleasure from my kitchen to yours to always bring you guys delicious meal. And I will see you guys in my next video. This is how I dish my food and save for the next two days. And voila, I will see you guys in my next video. This is a typical authentic African Gambian dish, dish that is enjoyed in my country, Gambia. Hit the like, the subscribe button, and the bell. Simple as that. I'll see you guys. Bye. Ta-ta.